<laughs> I hope you didn't just buy a quantum dot OLED monitor because oopsie, it looks like way better ones are launching hot hard buffins soon, at least if leaks are to be believed. And come on, let's face it, you knew this would happen, so it's time to roll in the dumpsters and throw your old monitor away. Don't think, just consume. Your 2022 model is garbage now, and in fact, just because I said so, it's now running at half speed. So now that we know that, I hope you like camping because I'm about to pitch a tent, nay a TP over these specs. Now, luckily, if you've been waiting to buy a monitor, this might be your year because unlike LG, who just can't help but run their OLED monitors over a low grip belt sander, Samsung, despite their seemingly non-existent quality control, does actually have common sense and all their OLEDs are glossy, making them basically, let's face it, the only choice. But luckily for you, they're a good choice this year, as we may be talking about 240 hertz versions in other sizes as well. Now, this all started because of a leak over on the website display specifications, which showed what appeared to be two new second generation quantum dot OLED monitors that seem to be releasing in the next two to three months. The monitors in question will start with new 34 inch and 49 inch versions, the latter of which will have a higher resolution. Now, there are rumors of a 32 inch 4K version coming later, but we don't have an exact date at this time. So hold it in boys. As for the 34 inch version, it's very likely to be a big upgrade on the current 34 inch versions that are available today, which means the same 3440 by 1440 resolution, but a big boost in <coughs> brightness and potentially refresh rate. The 49 inch version will be a 5120 by 1440 resolution with a confirmed 240 hertz refresh rate. Now, to me, the most important things to know about these are one, they will both likely have a higher 240 hertz refresh rate, making them better for competitive gaming and allowing for the clearest motion possible today. Two, both displays should benefit from the 30% plus higher brightness of the second generation quantum dot OLED technology. Three, both displays should be up to two times as durable, meaning they should be far less likely to burn in, which I know was a problem for some on the first generation of quantum dot OLED monitors. And four, they will be glossy, so we'll immediately have my recommendation for purchase as long as nothing is horrendously wrong with them. So if you're looking at buying a quantum dot OLED monitor right now, it might be worth waiting for more information on these displays before pulling the trigger, unless you can get a great deal. And if you're considering buying an LG OLED monitor, unless you need it to be 27 inches, 240 hertz, specifically for competitive gaming, or you need 4K and are unwilling to go above 42 inches, do yourself a favor and stick your woody in a tank of piranhas because I promise you paying over $1,000 for matte finish display is a worse sentence. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their RuPro AK HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable, available in sizes ranging from 3 to 165 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K at 60fps or 4K at 120fps HDR10 video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports eARC. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.